Good morning. Thank you for returning to my channel. This is Steve Pottle. And today I'm going to cover a subject that I'm really excited about. Uh, how to short sell stocks. This is an advanced topic. Now, why do you want to watch this video? Why should you watch this video? For three reasons. One is to learn. You'll learn to short sell stocks like the Wall Street hedge funds do. Number two, get new trading strategies. You can open the door to many more trading opportunities, which I'll explain as we go on. And number three is to generate gains. Make more money when individual stocks decline in price. Now, what's the short selling concept and what are the key terms? I'll start with the terms. This, and that's what creates confusion sometimes with short selling. Because... People will say long and short versus buy and sell. But just to let you know that long means buy and short means sell. So you just have to sort of commit that to memory that long equals buy and short equals sell. So, for example, when you're long stocks, you're buying stocks now for later sale. This is traditionally what 90 plus percent of people do is they go out and they buy stocks and uh, they wait for them to go up later and then sell the stocks. It's the old buy low sell high strategy and that's great as far as it goes and so on but shorting stocks is the mirror image of what i just described for going long stocks where when you short stock you sell the stock now and you buy back the shares later at a lower price hopefully at a lower price okay so please note that these two strategies are the mirror image of each other so just like, again, you can buy low and sell high, you can also sell high and buy low. So just to review it, uh, this is a little bit uh, for emphasis, but a long, with a long position, you're buying stocks today at a low price and, sell, and you're selling it later at a high price. With a short position, you sell borrowed stock today at a high price and then buy it back later at a low price. So how do you sell shares you don't already own? Well, I'll take you through the uh, key three steps. You call your brokerage firms and you request a margin account. We'll set that up for you. Then you borrow shares that you want to short from the brokerage firm. And the brokerage firm could be Fidelity, Schwab, Merrill, they all do it. Number two is you sell the borrowed shares on the start market today and you collect the proceeds from selling. Now, a few months from now, a week, a week from now, a few months from now, whatever, you buy back and replace the shares at a lower price, assuming that you were correct and the price is going to go down. You do this at a later date. Again, it could be a month, two months, three months uh, down the road. <clears throat> so let me take you through an example of both a long and a short sale. So the long... <clears throat> The long position uh, is going to be in a stock called MetaBank, and the price is four hundred and eighty-four dollars and ten cents as of three seventeen. So you buy a hundred shares, and that costs you forty-eight thousand four hundred and ten dollars. Now the price theoretically on July first in twenty twenty-four is going to be six hundred and thirteen dollars. So you sell the the ending trade is that you sell a hundred shares and you collect proceeds of sixty-one thousand three hundred dollars. Now, the, now, take those proceeds and subtract the cost of $48,410. That leaves you with a net profit of $12,890. Now, let's go through a short sale. With a short sale, let's say this is for a huge real retail corp that's selling for $174.42. You sell 100 shares. That's your initial trade, and you collect proceeds of 17,442. Now, of course, those 100 shares you borrowed from your brokerage firm. So you borrow the shares, you sell them today at the market, and you get $17,442. Now, July 1st comes, hypothetically, and let's say the stock is uh, now at $105. So you were correct. It was at $174, and uh, you thought it was going to go down, and in fact, it did go down, it went down to $105. Now, you buy 100 shares to replace the ones that you borrowed. So you go out in your ending trade in this transaction, you buy 100 shares. That costs you $10,500. So 
But again, you had gotten root proceeds of 17442 So that leaves you with a profit of $6,942. Okay, so in this case, let's take a look at two short positions, one that has a profit, one has a loss. The first one is the one we just went over, huge retail corp. We, we bought it, we sold it for $174.42, and then it goes to 105 in July 1st, and once again, we make a profit of $6,942. But let's say the trade goes the other way, we sell short, and the trade goes against us. Now we sell short huge retail corp at $174, just like before. We sell 100 shares, we collect proceeds of $17,442, okay? Now the price, hypothetically, on July 1st of 2024 is now $298. So to close that, that short position, it's gonna cost us $29,800, because that's a $298 sometimes shares. So the ending trade is to buy the shares in July, on July 1st to uh, replace the shares that we borrowed. So you're going to end up with uh, your proceeds were $17,442, but it cost you $29,800 to buy those shares back. So your net proceeds are going to be a loss of $12,358. So what are the benefits of short selling? Why start, start selling, start short? Well, for one, it gives you the potential for portfolio risk reduction. Now, this has to do with your entire portfolio. So for example, if you have three dozen long positions and the stock market currently is almost, almost its all time high, let's say that Putin you know, uh, hits uh, Ukraine with nuclear weapons. Now, all of a sudden, the market goes down 30% in a day. Probably most of your long positions are going to have significant losses. But if you have a, if you have a handful or more of short positions, you're going to benefit as those prices go down. So this is the overall effect. That's why it's called a hedge fund. They offset long and short positions offset each other. Not perfectly. Don't, don't mistake that. They don't perfectly offset each other. They tend to generally offset each other. But number two, the ability to profit when a company's stock price falls. So you might have a company you follow for years and you believe it's it's way overpriced and you think it's going to come down. This gives you a chance to take advantage of that to make money. Number three, expanded opportunities to invest profitably. So now you're not like just looking for companies with rising stocks. Now you can look at the universe of companies that have declining stocks. And number four, it's a good foundation for eventually trading stock options. What are the downsides? What are the risks of short selling? Well, one is potential for unlimited losses. A stock in the long position can only go to zero. A shorted stock can increase on an unlimited basis. For example, a company you could buy, you could short a company at 100 and it could, it could jump to 150, then be 200 the next day or a couple of days later, go to 300. There's uh, theoretically, it's unlimited potential losses. Number two, you pay interest on the value of the shares you borrowed. The interest rate also can change while your position is open as you cost you more. Number three, you don't receive dividends from the borrowed shorted stock. That's, that's kind of important, depending on what company, if it's, a, if it's a company that pays a lot of dividends, that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, number four is margin calls. I'll address that in a few minutes. Number five is what's called a short squeeze. And a short squeeze happens when uh, a lot of company in the, a lot of people in the market, excuse me, look at a stock and think that their prospects are not good and that they're going to be going down. So a large percentage of its on maybe 10, 20, 30 percent of its outstanding shares are shorted. So if things uh, bad news keeps coming out, the stocks go down. Those people with short positions are going to win and make money. However, let's say that the company reaches a 30 percent uh, short position. 30% of the outstanding shares are shorted. Now, all of a sudden, out of the blue, good news comes out. They hire a new CEO. They, result, they release results that are much more favorable than people thought. And so now, all of a sudden, the people that are short are running around sort of panicking, saying, I've got to buy these shares back quickly to close out my position to avoid further losses. 
that puts enormous upward pressure on the stock price. And so what time, sometimes what will happen is people will look around and they'll look at the companies that, are, that have a high short position and they'll watch them and sometimes they'll go long thinking that the market is misinterpreting the results and this company is actually going to turn it around and then a short squeeze happens and all of a sudden the stock is up 30, 40, 60 percent in a couple of days. That's happened numerous times. So short squeeze is definitely uh, something to uh, watch out for. <clears throat> and number six, just generally, this is an advanced strategy. There's significant losses can result. Use caution. And I would recommend you start with just uh, small positions. So margin requirements. So what do you need to know about margin? Well, short selling is done through a margin account, which is just a, another way of saying a borrowing account. Your brokerage firm can set this up for you. The initial margin is the deposit equal to about 150% of the value of the stock that you borrowed. This is 100% of the sales proceeds plus 50% as a buffer against potential losses. For example, 100 shares of a $15 stock will require um, a $2,250 initial margin deposit, which is $100, 100 shares excuse me, times $15 times 150%, so that's $2,250. The maintenance margin is the minimum amount of equity that an investor must maintain in the margin account after the purchase has been made. And it's currently set at 25% of the value, but many firms actually use uh, 30% instead. If the stock rises, meaning you're starting to lose money on your short trade, you will re be required to post additional margin, and this is referred to as a margin call. Each brokerage firm calculates the margin call slightly differently, and your brokerage firm can tell you uh, what to expect and, and what will be required. <clears throat> Final thoughts. Short selling allows you to trade like Wall Street's hedge funds, even if on a much smaller scale. Number two, having a long and short strategy opens up many more trading and money-making opportunities. Number three, start with a small amount of money at risk, or better yet, do dummy trade uh, for a while to practice. Number four, research companies to potentially short uh, that you see in the media, they get a lot of coverage. There's uh, a lot of technology companies that are very volatile, volatile, excuse me, that um, that you can, I'm sure you can think of that that could be candidates. And number five, look for additional videos from this channel having to do with trading stock options. That'll be in the next month or two. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please uh, post them in the comments. Please click like. It helps us get more viewers and make more videos. Uh, subscribe to see new videos. And if you want to email any comments, complaints, issues, anything to srpoddle at outlook.com, uh, I'd be glad to take a look at those. And note, once again, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't know your financial condition and uh, all the details of your financial life. So these videos are for educational purposes only. Uh, thank you uh, for watching, and uh, you have a great day.